Hello, my name is Dominique Campbell. Um, I am the president of For Unity Kid. Today, uh, you know, I, 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 I'm unscripted and unrehearsed. I cannot sit here and be rehearsed or, 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 or scripted. But um, I'm just talking off the top of my mind. The reason I had uh, started this for, I, first off, I want to know if I'm the only one in this world, the only one in this world that that can read and see the stuff that it say that happened and then try to apply to what's going on right now and not see what's going on right now. Like, not see how the bondage has still got us enslaved. Like, uh, I know I'm not the only one to see this, though. So every day I get a little mad, so I try to talk to people just to see, though. But when I was quiet about it, though, I was somewhat at peace. But I'm like, man, how, how messed up am I to really be sitting here quiet about something that got our people down? So I was forced to be quiet while I was working. Um, most jobs, they won't let you talk to people, though, because they say that you do that off the clock. Like, like they, they want to keep as many people slaved as they can keep slaved, though. Um, a lot of people don't even sit here and read the stuff that we supposed to be reading. They not. I, I heard, I talked to this one kid in class, this kid telling me that he learning about the Vikings. I'm like, the Vikings? The teachers are, are the Vikings that they are looking up to or whatnot. I'm like, now how would the Vikings help him in, in, in this situation that we in, though? Um, hey, but he couldn't even answer that question. He didn't even know what a true Viking was. But but we got these people as teachers though. Like the fact that that I got to go to college and pay to learn something, where in public school it should have been plentiful, makes me upset. But ah, tonight I ain't about to just go on raving and ranting though, man. But at the same time, I get so upset that people could read something. And try to make their own interpretation of it. That's cool. Your own interpretation. But when it comes to common. Common. What beats common? Because everything that came here came in twos. But I. I uh. Up, down. Yin, gang. As above, so below. That's up, down. But still though. You know what I'm saying. For every action there's a reaction. That type of stuff. I started this for Unity Kid to, to help kids come to understanding, to give them a place where they can come on my on, on, onto our uh, Facebook page and learn, though. Learn about what they're not going to teach you in school. I sat here and came up with a, a clever way to be able to still try to give people stuff back, even though we don't have a 501c. So I, I, I tried to... Tried to come up with a way to still be able to give people something back for, for giving us donations, though. I'm like, these these eight kids, nine kids, ten kids that I'm trying to uh, trying to help out, they, ah, oh, man, they looking at me as this person that's saying, oh, yeah, I'm going to try my best to help you, and I'm looking like an asshole. I'm glad this my nonprofit, or I don't own a nonprofit. I just pay for it, though. Or did the paperwork for it. But I'm glad it's mine because I don't got to worry about nobody frowning upon me though. But I get to talk correctly and I get to talk how I would like to talk. Nobody's on my back about how anything has to be done. But it, it, it saddens me that we sit here and act like we just ignore the stuff that we must, we, we're supposed to be fixing. We ignore it. Uh, I sat here. I uh, attended the Salvation Army. I attended their church. I, helped me out a lot. Like I told people, helped me out a lot. But at the same time, I'm sitting there watching from the outside looking in and from the inside looking out. So I seen it from both ways what the problem was. And I was told to be quiet when I understood what the problem was. But, hey... I've never been invited to a council meeting. So I'm like, hey, let me think of my own nonprofit to make and help people out the correct way. Like, you shouldn't be coming back to my nonprofit. Uh, like, like, you be you is what I'm saying. Be you. But most people like to progress. 
So you shouldn't be coming back to my nonprofit. Like, I don't, I'm not making the nonprofit for people to just be stuck on my nonprofit, enslaved to my nonprofit. I'm not trying to do that. I'm trying to make a nonprofit that enhances your mind and you take it and you go to somewhere else with it. Like, take it to your village. Go, go to your village and do this now. Like, that's all I'm trying to do is teach our villagers how to be correct villagers or, or, or good villagers. Or, or or think first villagers, though. Comprehensive villagers. But uh, I'm not going to tell them what it is they're supposed to know. I'm going to expand their mind. Give them questions. Tell them to question what, what it is that's being taught to them. Because if nobody questions, we always just go accept what we're told. But we say that in Roots. Kunta Kente. No, this is not how we pray. This is not how we do this. This is not how we do that. All these old people tell me to watch that movie, though. What was the verse, man? What was the verse? Where is my verse at, man? For I will give you the mouth and words of wisdom so that your adversary will never be able to come against you. Where is that verse at, man? But when I started talking, I never talked about God. I never talked about spirituality. But when I started talking about spirituality and asking questions about spirituality, that's when it became a problem. When I finally sat down, calmed down and chilled, I became a problem. When I started asking questions, I became a problem. I'm like, a problem, though. What, what, what is the problem with asking questions? But then they'll be the first to say that asking questions is good. But you keep asking too many questions, you start getting to the answer, to the root of the situation. Nobody wants to talk about the root of the situation. I don't care how long these videos are. Somebody go hear what I'm talking about, man. Huh? Eight kids. Eight. I'm supposed to get on here every day and talk for them. I'm, I'm, I'm not just talking for myself. I'm not talking for my health. I'm not talking for my son. I'm talking for, for, for years of people. Past, present, and future. For unity, kid, is what I'm talking about. But I come out here and people are quick to talk about how the police destruct us, stuff. Why was Malcolm killed? Why was he killed? You know, talking about peace, being too powerful. I'm not trying to stand alone. I do stand alone on my own square. But at the same time, where are my brothers and sisters at? Where is my family at? Where are your family at? This is all I try to get out of it, though. Why, why would my family be separated? That happened during slavery. Why is my family still separated if we're not in slavery? If we're not in modern-day slavery, why are we still separated is what I keep asking. Why is it that everybody can come in the neighborhood and create a store in our neighborhood and then we can't? I'm just asking. Just questions, man. Why is it that every girl wear weave, but no, none of them have their own weave store? I know these are the same questions that a lot of people ask, but I just reiterate them because I would like to know the same thing. So they say, oh, man. Man, back to the subject, man. Just ask questions, man. I, I, I can't express with the mission on the mission that I am on 